this problem wants you to do more work than what we have time for, so we're just going to kind of fly through it a little bit. Uh, we're going to make a new sketch on this bottom part, and it would like for you to measure out an Automoblox windshield and get exact measurements for it, and I don't care to do that with your time. We're going to find the midpoint of this, the midpoint of this, and align them so it's vertically aligned. And let's just give this some nice dimension. Uh, let's call this 1.5. And let's give this some nice dimension. Let's call this 2. We are going to uh, finish our sketch and extrude. Well, you know what? No. Yeah, we need something else in here. Let's dimension from here to here and give that a nice dimension of 0.5. Okay, now we can finish our sketch and extrude. And we're going to make that come down a half inch. Again, I'm making up numbers. It wants you to go back and find things, and I really don't care to. So uh, we'll make that 0.5. We'll do some 3D fillets on here. We'll go with the default. 0.125 looks pretty good. And I'll also show you a little trick, which we didn't need, but if you hit the tab, it'll select things that are close to what you want. Or it'll mess everything up. Well, let's go ahead and select that corner. Alright. So now I have all of these edges rounded over. Uh, we're just going to add a shell to this. So it's under the modify toolbar. And we're going to make it 0.01. It's a pretty good thickness for plastic on that part and on that part. Alrighty. Now the only problem that I see is that it looks like it didn't treat these as two connected bodies. So I am going to actually zoom back in here and do another little quick trick make a new sketch on this. It has all my lines that I am interested in highlighted, so I'm going to finish my sketch, extrude this, I'm going to change the direction, but I don't want it to cut, I still want it to add material, so I'm going to change the direction, click on join, and instead of distance, I'm going to say to next. Alright, now notice that our windshield actually has a contour to it, this is going to extend the sides up to wherever it happens to hit this top surface. All this green stuff you kind of see in here, that's where it's going to stop. So that's where it's kind of cool. Uh, we'll flip this over and I'll show you just a corner of it. There. Perfect. And if you really had the time to make the ribs and everything on here, you could. Again, not something I care about. I want you to see um, how you can extend or how you can extrude to a surface. I want you to see how you can use and apply shell to an actual part, but we are not going to be making the automoblox cars.